Hi everyone, today we're reviewing a Microsoft Bluetooth wireless keypad. This is made by Microsoft. It comes in a really cool sleeve here. It's a wool type sleeve with the Microsoft name on it. Uh, keep any debris or anything like that out of it. But uh, it's a real sleek device here. Microsoft includes a three year warranty on it. It is Bluetooth It is, and it's, and it's dongle free. So I'm going to go through and I want to do a partial unboxing, connect this up to a laptop, show you the features and functionality of it now. Anybody out there, you know, tax accounts, we're getting to the end of the 2017 year. A lot of heavy numeric key, keying that's going to be going on, so this would be the perfect device, especially for the portable user. This is the sleeve that Microsoft includes with the keypad. It's a wool-type finish. It has this double stitching, as you can see, and it goes all the way around and continues around the back side of the unit. It has the Microsoft logo. And if you turn around here, you can see the keypad in there. I mean, this doesn't close completely around it, but I think it's enough to keep out any debris and such out of it. Uh, to pull it out, you just reach in and grab your keypad, hold the bottom of the sleeve, pull it right out of there. Put it back in, pretty much sit, squeeze out a bit, take your keypad, just push it right back in there. Now, these are known as either a numeric keypad, number pad, some people call them a numpad, or some, some even call it a 10 key. What it is, it's a palm size device used for numeric key entry. So uh, regarding the design of this, I think Microsoft did a really nice job. Around the edges here, you have a rubber type feel to it. You, up here, you have a hard plastic with the Microsoft name. You also have a battery indicator here and a green power indicator. On the back of it, it's white. You have your four feet. You have your power switch here. When you press that up, you'll get not only a green indicator here, but also on the front, you'll get your green light. Also, you have your Bluetooth button here to pair it with a Bluetooth device. Now, that's the problem. You can't reach in there with your finger. You'd have to use a pin or a pen or something. And I'd be careful using a pin or a pen or a pen or a pencil because you're going to mark it up probably. Over here you have your battery door release and what you do is you press that down. Once you do that'll lift up. Just take it off. You'd have to be careful you don't lose this. You have one trip away battery in there which is good for three months of use. Microsoft also includes a three-year warranty on this device. Put the battery cover back on. You just press that down. Turn this back to the off position. Your green will go away. And the same thing here with the front. I like the keys. They feel good. They feel really good. I'd like if there was more of a click style to the keys, which there isn't that much. The enter key, though, is right at your fingertips. The plus key, everything's right there. So for fast numeric key, key entry, I think it would be great. I'm going to pair this up to uh, Surface Pro 4 here to show you how it pairs. Then we'll go and discuss more about the features of this. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to pair this number pad to the computer. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to turn it over. And the first thing you want to do is you want to put this in the on position. And over on the front you'll get the green light. And like I said, this, ins this Bluetooth pairing button is very deep inside there. So there's no way you can get your finger in there to pair it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this knife here. It, which doesn't really have a point hold it in until it starts to blink once it starts to blink go into Bluetooth on your computer add a Bluetooth or other device connect bl click Bluetooth once you do that you'll get Microsoft Bluetooth number pad click that it's now connecting it's going to ask you to put in this code I'm going to put that in now. Press enter on that. It now shows the device is connected. I want to open uh, Word just to, for this example here. And there it is. I'm going to try to blow this screen up a little bit so you can see it good. And like I said, the keys feel good. I, I'd rather have more of a click style. But they feel pretty good, especially if you tag team this with the uh, 6000 keyboard that Microsoft provides. That You have that curved finish and it just 
arcs right close to it and it makes a perfect combination. Um, the enter feels really good uh, to put in phone numbers. I'll put some, some numbers in here. Overall, it feels really good. Uh, it's firm. It doesn't move on the desk or anything. It stays firm. Here's your num lock button. So if you have your uh, keyboard attached, you'd press this to activate the numeric keypad. Just press it in. Press it again. Turns it off. Press it again, and it's activated. So the fuel and everything's great. Like I said, it doesn't move around on the desk or anything. It stays put. Those rubber feet on the bottom really do do good for it. Okay, so my final thoughts regarding the Microsoft Bluetooth keypad. I like this device. It's nice, especially like a sleeve it comes in. It has the wool finish to it. It has the double stitching front and back. It has the Microsoft name on it. Uh, it, do, it is open a bit here, but it should stop any debris or anything like that. It's mostly so you don't mar up the finish or anything. You just pop this in your backpack, you're ready to go. Now, like I said, if you get that keyboard, a 6,000 keyboard, this thing just sits right next to it. It doesn't physically can attach, but it won't move, especially with the feet on the bottom. So, um, in regards to the keypad, I like the white finish on the back here. Uh, they had the black here, but they also outlined this in white, so that looks very nice. You have this rubber texture all the way around here, so it feels really well. Up here you have the Microsoft name on the plastic black plastic finish. You have your power indicator. You have your battery indicator, letting you know when to swap out batteries. And you're only going to have to do it every three or four months, so it's not a problem there. Uh, as far as the key, good key placement, um, you feel really good. I'd, really, I'd like to have more of a click style, but in an office environment I don't think that would work too well. On the back of it, you have your power indicator or your power button. Next to that, the Bluetooth button. That's not going to go. That's not going to go well, Microsoft. Not everyone's going to carry around a paper clip or something to hold that in just to pair it. But luckily, you only have to pair it once. Um, as far as the battery door, press that little button down, and your battery door falls right out. Just be careful you don't lose it. Um, I do like the, it has the uh, one AAA battery, good for three or four months of use. It's always easy to pop a new battery in there. Um, as far as the feet, they're, they're placed perfect. When this thing's on a desk, it's not going to move. It's sturdy. It stays there, especially with the addition of that 6,000 keyboard. Um, and even even on the front here, you can tell they, they wrap that, they continue with that white all the way around here. So it's very nice. Uh, this thing weighs less than 10 ounces. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice keyboard. It's really going to be especially nice, especially this 2017 tax season. Uh, a lot of numeric entry going on there. Everybody does numeric entry. Even when I'm using my office computer, the keyboard itself, I'm always on that right side with that numeric keypad. Yeah, you have your numbers at the top, but it's always nice to use it numeric. Um, uh, Microsoft includes a three-year warranty on it. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a really nice device. I'm going to include a link. In fact, I'm going to include two links in the video. One where you can view the keypad itself, and then one for the keyboard. So you can either view them or you can place an order for them. Um, I want to thank you for everybody's time today for viewing. Uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Post them in the, video com in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks again. Have a great day.